Hi Aquarius, here's a general look at your solar chart for June 2010. Now following the rather sort of self-protective quiet phase, you're into a brighter, more playful period when you can enjoy yourself and feel more appreciated maybe for your efforts or more appreciated by certain people. Romance is highlighted for some of you as uh, relationships across the board are due to get closer. Um, you'll probably be teaming up with someone or liaising with others on very useful practical levels. You'll find the chance to be creative and mm, maybe quite relaxed in your self-expression, although there is a competitive um, vibe here as well um, but kind of settling into your power and knowing you know that you can do it um, and uh, there could be positive contacts with younger people or others with whom you can feel more spontaneous you'll enjoy working in a team just now i think and others should be sharing the load with you somebody could be quite supportive you know um perhaps providing you with the wherewithal or the means or the equipment um, could be just on loan I guess um, also anybody performing a service for you there's that feeling of uh, an underlying uh, a helpfulness there a harmonious work environment is more likely and uh, also any health matters uh, can be dealt with in a supportive, friendly sort of uh, manner. Teamwork is a key feature, as I've said, and uh, any long-term alliances could uh, benefit from this and could, in fact, some new um, maybe love interest could centre around the working environment or a working environment. Partnerships can be very productive at the moment and bring financial or other types of benefits your way. Uh, you may find that you can do business with a certain opposite number, even though uh, when Mars finally moves out of your opposite sign on the 7th, there could be a clash of values with a certain someone. Um, or maybe it's an agency or maybe it's a kind of um, some sort of circumstance beyond your control in fact that is causing a resistance there um, and this clash of values with somebody could be over the use of resources or you question their approach or integrity or they question your approach or integrity um, <clears throat> feelings will be nearer the surface when mars moves at the end of the first week and right on until the end of July, in fact. And there could be uh, something or someone you encounter which um, pushes your buttons. But also, on the flip side of this, there could be something or someone you encounter which touches you deeply and about who you feel quite passionate, in fact. Um, now, if it's a love relationship, then you and someone special could find that your feelings deepen uh, for each other as you grow in a kind of mutual understanding. On the other hand, there may be a pr personal professional relationship which has outlived its relevance uh, because this is a kind of area now of uh, transformation, of breakdown and renewal that Mars has gone into. So really, um, you might be wanting to look at pruning out those elements that regularly get in your way or tire you out. Um, and uh, basically move on. Also this could happen as I say on the flip side that somebody or something just kind of moves out of your life or gets out of your way. So this clears the decks for regeneration in your close circle. Saturn is here too. Uh, it's gone back into that area which may mean that uh, many of you may still be stuck or feeling stuck. You may not be stuck, you might feel stuck. Um, in an old setup over which you don't have control uh, or rather you don't have control over the actions of that person or the sort of ideas of that person um, uh, or that sort of agency and uh, another uh, you know the actions of another reflects upon you or, or, or alters your routines in some way 
um, they're holding you back maybe stopping you from feeling emotionally free um, uh, or uh, you know maybe you're just locked into it on a contractual sort of level because there's a resource coming to you um, and uh, you uh, maybe feel a, a little bit um, you may be yearning to get more control, maybe maybe uh, desiring to be your own boss uh, a little bit more. And this situation needs strength and constancy from you and an acceptance that although you don't have all the power, you can find other areas in which to feel fulfilled. You can find a way of working around it. Uranus is helping you to break out of the daily grind by bringing interesting opportunities uh, to mix with different types of people and um, bounce ideas off them, you know, and they will bring very unusual information towards you. In fact, alternative type stuff, unconventional stuff. Uh, you'll be wanting to learn from that, compare notes, maybe get educated. You can be the one who does the educating as well. Uh, communications technology, uh, the latest thing, you know, cutting edge stuff uh, could be playing a larger role. Uh, or you get interested in a weird subject maybe at the moment and you want to study it like um, UFOs uh, or astrology even. Uh, now, Jupiter is lighting up this area from the 6th for several weeks to come. And that could bring you some, um, yeah, some unusual encounters. Uh, and um, you'll have to tailor your responses. Keep an open mind. Very important for, for you to be sort of flexible in your thinking, not to have certain preset expectations, really. Um, kind of window shopping, I suppose, in a way. That's the kind of a, a kind of the attitude to take. Um, and uh, you know, uh, un unusual things could be happening in in your environment, um, even when you're not in the mood to have anything <laughs> unusual happening. Uh, and um, really, I think you know, you could feel quite surprised, uh, quite inspired by things that do uh, come at you on a daily basis. Um, but also you could feel a bit ambushed, you know, something could really t uh, be unexpected. Uh, so uh, once again, you know, the feeling is here, don't get too stressed over it and just kind of hang loose uh, and uh, expect the unexpected, really. Now from the 21st, well, you'll have the urge to get organized on basic levels, clean up your act, do repairs or maintenance, get necessary uh, checkup if you need to uh, and also um, you know any equipment that you have any vehicles and so on and go in for healing nurturing activities as much as you can well that's it for June and if you know your rising sign it's useful to listen to that because it sort of adds something to what I've said here and I'll see you the next time